Hey everybody, How to Tech here to bring the reassembly of the Honor 5X. I'm going to go ahead and start with putting back in the top portion of the phone, uh, the logic board. I'm going to take this, and you see we've already put it back in the rear facing camera and the front facing camera, so make sure you do that before you reboot your board uh, back into the mid frame of the phone here. It snaps back on. I'm going to go ahead and snap the touch sensor back on here as well. And then we can go ahead and lay the board back in. There's a couple pins that you want to be a little bit careful of. Make sure they sit properly into the board so it sits in nice and firm. There's one at the top right and uh, bottom right hand sides of the phone. Next step is to go ahead and take this black portion uh, that came off the top. And we're actually just going to move this little piece of adhesive back nice and straight. See if we can get it to fit in a little bit better. So we'll take this little plastic portion and put it back in at the top of the phone. It's a little tricky to get on. It actually basically wants to snap in and kind of slide in from the top towards the bottom. You can see it's got a couple of little snap portions so you might be able to press it down and get it to fit in. I find it easier to do Just to take it, kind of pull the phone upwards, and then just kind of push your thumbs down on it. It'll kind of snap back into place. Now with that done, we can go ahead and put the screws in. The upper right hand one is the, had the litmus paper on it. Put all the screws back in with the exception of the screws that are holding down the bracket portions over the cable connectors. Put the one in the center just to the right of the camera. Now with that complete, we can go ahead and start on putting the daughter board down here at the bottom. It just basically fits back, and there's a little post here on the right hand side that you can see that only fit back in on top of. We're not going to put any screws into it yet. We need to make sure that we get all the remaining cables put on. So we need to do the battery as our next step. If you bent it, removing it, make sure it's as flat as possible when you go ahead and reinsert it into the back of the phone. And try to get the cable lined up as close as possible before you start sticking the battery down. Go ahead and snap the battery connector back on. Put the display cable back on. This one might be a little bit tricky. It's got a little extra cable length on it, so you might have to push it back to get it to fit back into place. Do the power button, volume button next. Make sure you flip the little connector switch up and then push it down once the cable's been inserted. Now we'll go ahead and take the cable that runs the length of the phone from the charge port board to the top logic board. And then our wire antenna connector. We'll snap in both ends before we put it back in its guide slot. Get a little bit easier to connect. You can go ahead and push these cables, this cable back into its guide slot now. Next step is to put on the loudspeaker bracket down here at the bottom of the phone. We 
We'll go ahead and put the screws back in down here as well. Basically all the silver screws will go in around the charge port and then the charge port screws uh, will be the black screws. Now that those are all snug, this last one going in, we'll go ahead and start on the top portion, putting the brackets back in place. This bracket sliding underneath this top portion here. Once you get the screw holes lined up and the top of the bracket is underneath the metal shielding of the top chipset there, we can go ahead and put the remaining two screws in. We'll go ahead and put in the bracket on the opposite side here now. We we'll need to make sure we put the far right side of the bracket kind of underneath, right next to the touch sensor. The top side of the bracket will actually sit right on top of this other chipset protector. Go ahead and put our screw back in. Put our adhesive back on top. Now at this point, you probably want to go ahead and test all the function of the device. Make sure the screen power is on, the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, everything is going to work before you start snapping the back on. You won't have to remove that a second time. Now with that done, we're going to go ahead and take the back, we're going to put the top portion on first. Make sure that it fits in nice and snug, kind of pushing towards the bottom, then down the sides on each side, and snapping the bottom in last. Now make sure you go around the device, make sure that's all clipped into place. And once that's completed, you can go ahead and put the two screws in the bottom of the phone near the charge port. Now with that done, we can go ahead and put our card slots back in for the SIM card micro SD card slots. Go ahead and power the device on. And that is the reassembly. If you guys have any questions, throw them in the comments. It's best to answer them. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe for future videos. Peace.